Hi there, this is Hossa with a new process video. Today I'm uh, tempting you with some donuts. And uh, these two photos were taken when we were on our way from Östersund. So this is basically the, the end of this uh, Östersund and, and uh, Jamtli um, series of mine. So next video will be something completely different. Anyway, uh, these two photos, I took them in the car and uh, we had made a quick stop i think we needed to buy milk or something like that uh, to have coffee in the car and uh, uh, um, our son he was asleep in in the back seat and uh, after a really kind of hectic day uh, we had done so many things and and he was just uh, uh, full of, uh, of nice food and uh, when we just sat in, this, in the car he fell asleep so uh, we la let him sleep and I went into a grocery store that we uh, passed by and I bought the things that we needed and I bought uh, donuts because they had fresh donuts and I thought they looked lovely and I knew that they would uh, make my family happy and then I'm a scrapbooker. Uh, I'm a scrapbooker 24-7 uh, pretty much and uh, that doesn't mean that I uh, cut in paper and glue 24-7 but it means that it's in my mind all the time and uh, <laughs> I had been eyeing all these nice supplies with donuts and uh, I had seen all these little cute stickers with donuts uh, and the whole industry kind of picking up on the donut thing and donuts they aren't uh, a very common thing in our life uh, we have the possibility to buy donuts here they sell them in pretty much any uh, store but uh, it's r not really a part of our diet pretty much because we try to avoid uh, these kind of uh, uh, fatty sweet pastries pastries um, as much as possible uh, because of health reasons but um, this was a, a special occasion so so that's okay but I immediately when I picked those uh, uh, do donuts into my baggie I knew that I wanted to photograph them before my family had them <laughs> So th these photos, I don't think it was even me who took them because I had no batteries left in my uh, in my phone. But uh, I convinced Hubby to take these photos, and he did. He's very sweet that way. <laughs> he does. This. He w he's been told. <laughs> and uh, my daughter is holding the the donut and uh, in her hand, and. Uh, I think it's just seconds before she will put it in her mouth <laughs> and, and that's kind of the story behind these photos uh, I bought donuts because I wanted to make a layout <laughs> I confess, I confess nothing wrong with that my, my family was happy and I got two scrapbook donuts I bought this <laughs> wonderful off to the next time <laughs> off to the next thing I bought this lovely paper it's from Bow Bunny, the Forever Young collection, and it's uh, super bright and it's got donuts with sprinkles and uh, I think it's uh, so much fun. And uh, I had no real um, plan when I started this because this is just uh, over the top paper and anyway I placed it as a centerpiece or a background piece for this layout. That's that's a bit unusual for being me don't you think but I did it anyway uh, because I, I knew that I would not be able to make another donut layout anytime soon so background it was, was. that green paper with uh, flowers slash stars it was on my desk and I thought that it uh, matched the green glazed donuts pretty well so that was um, my next addition. It got lost on the background paper bit so I outlined it with uh, my white marker. And now you get a hint that there now we will have some silhouette action. 
before that I will place this uh, down onto the green, car uh, green uh, pattern paper and I will place a doily uh, behind the photo block as well. I have also matted the photo on white paper. Now I have opened my uh, silhouette program and uh, I'm writing the title for this page and it's going to be donuts. Nothing uh, fancy or special about that. But I want to make an offset so that I have a, a title and a background for the title. Do you remember when uh, Quickets had their shadow dice? You basically bought a whole set of expensive dice, uh, alpha dice, and then you bought another. And then you could place those shadow images behind your original alphas so that uh, you got an outline. And this is basically what I'm going to do in the Silhouette Studio. I wrote the uh, title, then I selected it all and I pressed the Modify and the Offset button. Uh, when in the offset mode I have the possibility to change how, s how big or how wide my offset is going to be. So I just pull that little uh, numeric um, uh, arrow thing there to make it the size that I want it to be. And then I press the offset and uh, uh, I get this outline. It looks like shit at the moment but if, I, if you just stay with me you'll see how it will be in the finished page. I could take my uh, cursor and uh, dr draw or drag the the different uh, like images uh, so they become separate and this is how I will be cutting them. I have lined up these two papers on my mat, you saw that before, and uh, I'm trying to be very thorough so that they will end up in the same spot uh, on the as the, the these uh, fonts are. And here's the finished result. Now I take the uh, pink uh, letters and I just place them side by side on this shadow mat or offset mat. So this is the title. I have not done this before. I have done it with small elements just to, to get the offset, but I have never done a, a title like this and I thought it was totally needed when you wanted to place a title on this very busy page. Either that or I had to make a, like a strip of washi or something like that to, to get rid of the background to be able to, to read uh, letters. But since I had and found this uh, pink paper with the uh, dots, I thought they resembled the donuts, so I wanted to use that. And I had a cardstock that was pretty much the same uh, tone as the uh, blue colored uh, donuts. I got some leftover strips from that uh, cardstock and I used them to make a border around the page. And this was also kind of needed if I wanted to tone down the background a bit and make it more um, like contained on the page. It's easy that this busy pattern just takes over completely. Now you might think that this layout is coming to a finished uh, product. This is when I start to tear everything apart again. And uh, that felt really, really stupid at the moment, but I, I had an idea that I wanted to try. So I'm taking away the photo block and then I'm going to cut out the donuts underneath them. So I... <laughs> oh, now I remember. At this uh, point in time, I had lost my silhouette scissors. So you see me going around this with uh, uh, kids' scissors that I had in my stash. And it's not behaving anywhere close to uh, a, a normal uh, crafting scissors would. So it, it's that's just a um, total mess. And I hated it and I, I, I kind of... Uh, uh, yelled about this uh, scissor gun missing uh, quite a lot because I, I was pretty sure that it had been stolen. 
and who to blame but my family. <laughs> so uh, I uh, fi finally, uh, perhaps a week later, I found it and it was uh, put away where I have the, the nail scissors in the bathroom locker. And uh, of course it, it is a similar, but at the same time it's got twine tied around it and, and everything like that. So, so it, it was something that someone had done uh, being kind of tired, I think. Instead of my lovely scissors, I had to use the knife instead, and that was a long while ago, I must say. I don't normally use the, uh, the knife anymore. <laughs> I have this perfect scissors, it can cut out anything. But uh, I have the knife left in my uh, stash, so it uh, had to do. Now I'm looking for some, like, journaling piece for some text also to tone down the the whole background page a bit and I found uh, just a striped like a notebook um, piece of paper and I will mat it on the same uh, greenish uh, cardstock as I had below my title. I decided to make the journaling block before I started placing these extra donuts as embellishments on my page and I think that was a kind of good idea and a bit unusual for me because I don't normally remember to be that um, like planning ahead kind of ish person. And here comes the part of this process that is getting quite out of hand but bear with me I will fix it. <laughs> the, the end result or the final uh, page will and not look like this. Because now I start placing these huge uh, donuts around on the page, some up on foam tape and some just with plain adhesive. And I'm layering them and uh, making them look like they are stacked on a, on a plate or on a display. And I'm basically doing the opposite to what I had been doing before, trying to tone down the background paper. Now I'm just placing more of those colorful donuts on top of everything. And it was kind of counterproductive because it, it made the, the layout uh, even more busy and the color even more uh, random on the page. On the background page, nothing was really overlapping, but now I started to overlapping these crazy colors as well. And, and it became uh, it, it got some dimension, but it in the same time it it was just too busy to look at. So I remembered I had a bunch of uh, these um, like transparent photo stickers. This particular package is from Simple Stories DIY collection and I have many of uh, those both in black and white, but I for this layout I'm choosing black and uh, at first I thought this is going straight to the waste bin, but the more I put on the page, it, it kind of grew on me. And uh, these black stickers help to tone down, guide the eye, and kind of uh, make it bearable. <laughs> And in in the end, when I had looked at this layout for a couple of days, it it was really nice. I I like I loved it. It 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 gave a graphic look to to this whole thing, and uh, or not perhaps graphic, but uh, a newsprint kind of feel to it, as like an ad in a paper or something like that. So now I'm just basically choosing the. Uh, photo stickers and placing them on the photo, on the side of the photo, on the donuts that I had cut out, and uh, everywhere where I thought they they fit. And there I also added a uh, hello to the title, so the final title will be Hello Donuts. Then again, this layout is very unusual in my album, and it definitely gives a wow effect when you uh, get to it uh, <laughs> while looking at my layouts because when you have just seen uh, a layout like uh, the ones with with uh, huge 
uh, calm uh, photos and uh, and uh, decorations to to follow that and and colors to to match it and then <laughs> you see this one it's it's uh, pretty much uh, a shock but it was fun it was fun to make and uh, this was a special occasion and it's fun to go bright once in a while and this uh, background paper definitely set the bright uh, kind of uh, feel to, to all of it. Now you saw my daughter there was had her hand in, in the layout again and, and uh, she pointed where I needed to place a, a sticker. Uh, the, she's really into stickers, I think she that's her favorite part of, of paper crafting. And of course it's fun with stickers. Uh, when I saw the layout like this, I thought the title needed some something more. So I will going. I will outline the pink part of the title with my black pen, just to to make it stand out a bit more. Uh, give a small border or almost like a second shadow, uh, just closest to to the pink uh, letter. And it's it's really nice to to be able to do that, and it helps a lot with readability and the the fi final touch. So this is my crazy layout for today, and I hope that you have enjoyed this rather uh, erratic and uh, crazy process as well. And uh, I hope to see you soon here in my channel again. Take care. This is Osa. Bye.